you might be interested in starting your own seamless gutter business. And if you are, then you're probably gonna wanna know what tools to get. And there's a lot less tools than you might expect. Uh, the obvious, you're gonna need a gutter machine and a trailer and a couple of ladders. You're also gonna wanna pick up a miter saw with a miter saw stand. I've seen guys do it without miter saw stands. Other than that, everything else is a small tool. Let's get into all my hand tools. We're gonna start over here, downspout hole punch. It's obvious you need a downspout hole punch to punch holes for downspouts. You can do it with a knife, but I mean, it takes so long. You can pick these hole punches up, I think around 200, maybe 240 bucks uh, with the blade. They're um, one of the more expensive tools that you're gonna need to buy, but this thing's gonna save you so much time and so much effort. You're already going all the way to purchase a gutter machine, do a downspout hole punch, right? These extremely underrated, but as soon as you get a pair, you're going to know why I have these on here. Uh, these are called seamers, uh, and what they do is it, it just helps you bend metal. Uh, you can open them up, it's straight, you can bend them, great for splash guards, um, just, I mean, custom little bits of stuff. So, seam, get a pair of seamers, you will use them. These are downspout crimps. Uh, these ones are, let's see if there's a name on them. I don't know what brand they are actually. Uh, ABC Supply Company supplies these. Uh, I have two pairs. I have this one and it has these longer teeth on it. The other ones I have are silver. They don't have as long a teeth. And uh, I prefer the longer teeth. The longer the teeth you can get, the better. I would say you could pick these up 15 bucks or so. Uh, those, the seamers, all the crimps are about the same size. These are downspout crimps. The, or these are, sorry, those are downspout crimps. These are end cap crimps. You're gonna need these. Uh, same thing, pick these up at your local supplier. They'll have them. Uh, Lowe's Home Depot may have them, but uh, I get them from my, from again, ABC Supply. Uh, they carry them and they work great. They still work like they're brand new. You're gonna need a pair of just regular straight 10 snips. You don't need the curved ones, the yellow handle uh, whiz. Uh, 10 snips. These are great. You are going to have to replace these probably once every three to four months uh, because they go dull and they break. You use them a lot. This is going to be a tool you use constantly. Uh, we're going to move on. Crowbar and hammer. We're not going to nail in spike and furls, but we are going to take them out whenever you go to homes that already have gutters. Um, so you're going to need a hammer and a crowbar. You don't need anything fancy, just pick up a hammer and crowbar. Um, this is a cobalt hammer, but honestly, I'll get husky hammers, whatever uh, is cheapest. That's all you need. Uh, we're gonna need a torpedo level. I've seen guys use bigger levels than this. We have no issue with the torpedo. Uh, we get the Milwaukee levels. They are a little more expensive. Uh, you don't have to get Milwaukee, but you do need to get a nice level. Um, this is pretty much what quality stands on as your level. So I wouldn't use the cheapest level on the market. You wanna use something that's durable and actually gives you a good reading. You're gonna want two tape measures. Um, you don't necessarily need the 30 foot tape measure. You could do a 16. Uh, really you need something, I would say a 16 to a 30. The 30 definitely costs a lot more money but you could get away really well with just a 16. Most of my guys have 16 and they never complain about it. Uh, and then you're gonna need a 100 foot. I like these Milwaukee ones. I have tested the DeWalt ones, these Milwaukee ones. Just, oh, they've held up uh, against the test of time. But you'll need these for actually taking measurements on the house. You're gonna use this uh, tape measure more for downspouts and these ones for gutters. So, and then the two power tool, power hand tools you're gonna need uh, is an impact driver. Uh, 
any brand you want is fine. I love the Milwaukee. Most uh, There's so many guys in this world love Milwaukee. Milwaukee just makes great products. Uh, you don't necessarily need the fuel brushless. Um, you could do the cheapest impact driver they have. Gutters aren't super complicated. You don't need a super, you don't need a ton of power. So any Milwaukee uh, impact driver will do. But then I would opt in for a hammer drill because uh, this is going to be for going into brick, concrete, stucco. You're going to want a hammer drill, uh, something that can push through that concrete real well. So I wouldn't spend the most amount of money on your impact driver. I think it's fine to go with a cheaper one. I would not really cheap out on the hammer drill. You want something that's going to make your life easier whenever it comes to this. It's also going to get used and abused going into so much concrete. So... Those are the tools you need to start a gutter business. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'm going to link all of this down below uh, in a blog post. So hope it helps you guys.